watching this video, which probably means that you are the proud new owner of a Symphony desktop. First and foremost, just wanna say congratulations. We are so incredibly proud of this product. It is the most feature-rich and advanced audio interface that we have ever developed, and we know you're gonna love it. But let's take a look at what comes inside the box. A couple manuals, the Symphony desktop itself, and a whole box full of accessories. So we've got two different cables, USB-C and USB-A, an Apogee USB thumb drive, the Symphony desktop power cable with adapters for whatever country you're in. Now the adapters are really easy to use. They just slide right on top of the power cable. Now it's time to hook everything up. Most of what's in the box is pretty self-explanatory, but there's one thing that might throw you off, connecting the power cable, because you actually need to plug it in and twist it until it locks. All right, so I've got everything connected. Next, I wanna power my Symphony desktop on by clicking on the dial. Now, when you power your Symphony desktop on, you're gonna see the screen flash white a bunch of times. This is completely normal. It's part of the boot sequence. Great, you got everything connected. You've got your Symphony desktop powered on. Now, depending on when you purchased it, you're gonna see one of two different things on the screen. Regardless of what you see, it is very important that you update your unit. You can do that by heading over to our registration page, either by following the link here, or you can go to apogeedigital.com forward slash support forward slash register. Fill it out, and at the end of the registration page, you'll get a link to download the most current software. You'll also receive an email shortly afterwards with codes for the Clear Mountain Spaces and ECS channel strip plugins that are included with every Symphony desktop. Once you've completed the download, it's time to update your Symphony desktop using the included USB thumb drive. Double click on the DMG or zip file, depending on if you're using Mac or Windows, and take the Symphony desktop installer file and drag it onto the USB thumb drive that came with Symphony desktop. Once the file transfer is complete, you can eject the thumb drive and insert it into the back USB port of your Symphony desktop. Navigate to the settings area of your touchscreen display by clicking on the gear in the upper left-hand corner and scroll over until you see update and then check for update. When the update's finished installing, your Symphony desktop will restart to load its newest software and when it's done booting up, you're good to go. If you'd like more information on the setup or update process, check out our step-by-step -step guide. You can find it by clicking on the link in the email with your activation code or by visiting our support page and clicking on Symphony desktop. From all of us at Apogee, thank you for choosing Symphony Desktop. And if this is your first Apogee product, welcome to the family. Oh, and watch out for Uncle Mick. He's a wily one. It's a company? No one told me that. <laughs> <laughs>